those uh, classic cinematographers like uh, Balu Mahendra sir. That style of cinematography is still alive today. Is it practical to be alive because now the cameras and everything has changed and uh, you know uh, uh, that uh, the classic cinematography is it still living or it is uh, what, uh, according to you? See, um, Balu Magendra sir, uh, no, he made lots of uh, different kind of uh, thing he tried. His uh, earlier film like Kukilat, Mullum Malaram, Veed and other films, he's totally, he's, uh, uh, he tried everything those days. One thing in art, in art, whether it's a painting or a music or anything, it has to, I mean, they, they have to, uh, something has to change, otherwise, uh, uh, it's a stale, it's a stale. Uh, so, it's like, during that time, uh, okay, they, uh, they made the right thing, though. Even, even your color sense and uh, visual sensing, uh, take, or oh, say, in those days, following golden rule, you know, keep the image on the left side, the cinemascope help keeping the left side or the right side edges and don't divide the horizon. No, like there's some rules we were following. Sometimes 30, 40 years back. Then slowly it killed. Then people started composing the image in the center of the screen. See, you know, we were composing in, uh, you know, like a two third cinema scope, left corner, right corner edges. You no, know, we were worried about um, horizon. You no, know, don't keep the horizon in the center like that. But slowly, you no, know, people started composing in center. Then Venus of Venus of cinematography is very rugged. Is Agrakar um, and other films are totally different kind of uh, approach to the uh, very candid uh, look uh, Venus had did. Like that, take uh, uh, Budapest total Grand Budapest. Their uh, total images they composed in four by three, and the center of the frame they composed the image. It got, uh, it got lots of awards for cinematography. So it has to change. I mean, it, it should evolve. So uh, whatever good uh, for for five years back, ten years back is. <laughs> so let them come. Okay. So what would we advise uh, the young filmmakers today to, uh, to uh, the aesthetic part of cinema, for mm -hmm. them to learn mm -hmm. uh, and be better at what they are doing? Uh, what all they could, uh, for example, you were say, uh, saying about seeing paintings and stuff like that. So what are the kind of exercises they can uh, follow to, you know, be a better Visualizer. They can come, they can do anything, but uh, I think today to survive in the industry more than the techniques, more than uh, uh, learning about where is the screw and where is the condenser, I mean, what do you call them, um, uh, where is the uh, processor, how the processor work and, uh, and uh, what the sensor, uh, more than talking about that learning about the aesthetic part of it and the history of uh, image making, paint, whether it's a painting, renaissance paintings or uh, um, Modern photography and uh, what uh, no, like Ansel Adams uh, or the earlier part of uh, earlier history of photography. Just go through it and unlearn it. No, learn it first and then unlearn. That's uh, uh, then you, are, you will be very your foundation will be very strong and uh, uh, you can really do things. Okay. So now uh, what's my thing? Quick thing about the GH4. Mm -hmm. You use it uh, for one of the songs and. A little bit. Yeah, the, I think one of the earliest uh, person to use GS4 when it arrived, you no, know, I think it came in May or something. Immediately, in June, I used it. Uh, I was very much impressed uh, with the um, with the uh, such a small camera, as well a camera with a uh, uh, 4K resolution. Uh, I thought of uh, using it. Uh, for um, you know, uh, for Anegan, for one song, Roja Kadele is there, that song. Uh, I shot all the background plays in Canada uh, using GH4 uh, uh, and uh, sh shot the studio green mat in uh, Chennai. Chennai studio, I shot it with the Alexa camera, Ari Alexa. And uh, you see, uh, when you, when you uh, we, we, the background, uh, the, uh, all the landscape and everything shot with GH4. And this one, uh, the front image is Alexa, and it very well matched. Okay, there may be uh, we could have done it better in lighting or uh, VFX. I oh, forgot about that, but I'm talking only about the image quality, the background uh, and uh, foreground image quality. It matched very well. Also, for the lots of action sequence in um, 
uh, and again I used the GH4 just for a, a quick movement and going under the tire and wheel and other things uh, for action portions we tied the camera and no, no for uh, <laughs> just to match the punch uh, we used a stick I mean uh, uh, we used it for uh, no like that uh, we, uh, we made a contraption in such a way that it's a point of view of a fist something like that we did okay. um, it's fantastic I'm waiting for GH5 actually Autofocus is faster compared to GH4, much, much, more. Uh, much more faster and uh, it's fantastic. even still images are, uh, you can freeze the frame and that is more than 8, uh, 12 MB, 6K. 6K. Uh, uh, 12 MB resolution yeah. and overall no, to, uh, to 20.1 MB I think, yeah, no? 20, 20 for still MB. images also, it's fantastic, I mean I'm waiting for GS5, uh, let's see, they, I think they will come out with uh, firmers, 2-3 firmers in summer. Yeah. Yeah. So, I want to test that camera. Okay, well, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank you. Thank coming you. to our magazine and uh, sharing your experience. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thanks, folks. Uh, this is uh, Selva Kumar signing out for Music Mag. Thank you.